Well, last year, a study revealed that the iconic Queen Conch could disappear from Bahamian waters in 10 to 15 years. But a new study shows there is hope. Antoine Smith reports. It's a sight that no Bahamian wants to see. The Conch population, gone. I would be filled up. <laughs> Terrible. Last year, a study by Shan Aquarium revealed populations of the Queen Conch are declining throughout the Bahamas. But a new study by the Bahamas National Trust, SHED, and other collaborators revealed marine protected areas may be the key. It's documented proof that the National Park, Exuma Keys Land and Sea Park, is providing spillover to the surrounding fishing grounds. That just means that the park is producing conch larvae and it is providing it to the adjacent areas and seeding those areas that fishermen can access. While the original study revealed areas in the Bahamas where conch were not multiplying, the new study shows conch populations at the Exuma Land and Sea Park are at 50 to 100 per hectare, a healthy population for reproduction. To this, the Bahamas National Trust Science Officer Agnesa Lendi says they are actively working to propose other possible marine protected sites. The Bahamas National Trust, the Nature Conservancy and BRIEF partnered to create a marine protection plan and within that plan there are a, a lot of sites that we are proposing to the government to protect. Some of them are specifically for Kong, some of them are for Nassau Grouper. It's a cross-section of areas for a lot of different reasons. Marine protected areas currently guard 10% of Bahamian coast and areas, but survey says if Bahamians want to see conch for generations to come, marine protected areas must be a priority. Antoine Smith, Zenness Network News.